Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see some of the expected questions from the poem Lycidas by John Milton. So, let's check the questions. The first one Identify the fact is or are true according to the poem Lycidas. It was written in 1637 and published in the collection Justa Eduardo King Nefrago in 1638. It's a pa pastoral elegy written eulogizing Edward King, a friend of Milton at the University of Cambridge. It was republished in the collection Poems of John Milton with brief prose preface in 1645. Again, the new option, all the above facts are true. So, you have to identify the correct answer. Now, let's check. So, D is the correct one. That is, all the above facts are true. All these facts given here are true about the poem Lycidas. Now, let's check the next one. Which of the following statements is or are not true in relation to Lycidas? So, the first one is, there are 193 lines with irregular rhyme pattern. The speaker is an uncouth, uncouth swain, that is a shepherd. It has only pagan concepts. The poem ends with a sad note on feeling sorry for Lycidas. So, the first option is all are true. Then, second option all are not true. A and B are not true. C and D are not true. Now, let's check. The fourth option is the correct answer. C and D are not true. So, in this poem, we can see both Christian and pagan concepts. Uh, different figures from both these uh, uh, area Christian and pagan could be find in this poem and it ends joyfully as Lycidas is, Lycidas is in heaven being welcomed by the angels that's the end of this poem so it's not ending with a sad note even though it is a pastoral elegy now next one matches the following Lycidas pilot of Galilean lake Orpheus Arthus. Now the other uh, you have to match from the other part that is a fountain Edward King St. Peter a bard. So here the options are given. Now you can check the answer. So the second one is right A2 that is Lycidas is Edward King B the pilot of Galilean lake is Saint Peter. Orpheus is a bard from Greek mythology. And then Arathus is a fountain from Greek mythology. The next question. Which of the following statement is or are true in relation with the poem Lycidas? In this poem, Milton criticizes the corrupted clergy of the Church of England which led to 20 year ban of the poem after his life sorry after his death last figure to join the funeral procession of Lycidas was pilot of Galilean lake with the two masikis who criticizes the corrupted clergy so it's a, it's portrayed in that way the ship in which Lycidas was traveling sank because it was built during an eclipse and a uh, doomed to fail. Fourth one, Edward King was an aspiring poet, a student of Cambridge, and he died in a shipwreck on the Irish seas in 1637. So, the options are given here. You can check uh, the answer. Now, all are true. All these facts are true about the poem Lycidas. Actually, even though Milton uh, wrote this elegy as a um, memorial for Edward King but in between he, act, he actually criticized the corrupted clergy of the Church of England and it was uh, through the speech of the pilot of Galilean Lake who is actually a representation who is actually Saint Peter okay so the two masik is uh, 
uh, is that it is given in the poem uh, to Masikis, which was in the hand of a uh, pilot of the Galilean lake, was actually the keys of the gates of heaven and hell, of, and it's with Saint Peter, and the recurring imagery throughout the this poem is that everything the Greek mythology. the greek mythological figures uh, christian um, uh, figures everything is related to water because actually edward king died by drowning that is why we can identify uh, uh, concepts different imageries that is related with water so that is uh, i have given here some of the important lines sometimes for examination day uh may quote these lines and ask the um ask the students to identify the poem so the first line is actually the first line of this uh, poem that is yet yet once more uh so this lista starts with that poem as, as with that line then fame is no plant that grows on mortal soil o fountain uh, then the pilot of the galilean uh, galilean lake weep no more uh, then at last he rose this kind of uh, these are some of the important quotations lines from this poem thank you so much so don't forget to comment like share and subscribe okay now my channel name has changed into the teacher at home cooked classes so thank you so much